Hey guys, Remote Animation here and welcome to the 4th episode of the Reckon 4D Devlog. Well it's been around a month since we started this project and I think it's fair to say we have not made a lot of progress. Except in the render engine which is looking really nice. But that's just the thing, a 3D modeling and animation app is not just about rendering, it's sometimes also about modeling as well. And also dealing with objects because I don't know if you've noticed this but I've never actually imported in an object on camera before. Before. and that's because you can't i haven't made an interface for that yet and now that i think of it that should have been like the first thing i did but i wanted to make a render engine so bad so now we have to go back to the basic stuff and as you can see it's already working as we can now import in objects with the power of editing but yet again what use is an object if you can't modify it So I wasn't feeling very smart to come up with my own ideas so I went to my favorite app Prisma 3D to get some inspiration. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit for the homies at home that just want to know what I did but don't care how I did it. First up, Prisma can move vertices around. I did that and I did it with little to no stress. Second, Prisma can move edges around. I did that and I don't want to talk about it. Thirdly, Prisma can move faces around. I did that but I don't clearly remember how the code works. I know it's gonna come back and haunt me when I'm making modeling tools but till then, we're good. Fourthly, Prisma can extrude faces. Well, if you can't accept it the way it is, you are reconphobic. Moving on, I decided to test some of my models with the render engine, which is my favorite part of the entire app, probably because it's the only part of the app that actually works. So when I tell you we've not made a lot of progress, I mean it. But still, props to the render engine for making everyone think we had a finished app. But you see, when I sat in the dungeons planning out this render engine, I had a grand scheme. And no, it's not the kind of scheme that helps the poor or rewards the hard working it's actually for the lazy people like someone who thinks hitting the like button is too much work anyways what i mean by this is your models can look terrible yet the render engine will help you make it look better let's say you're one of those mobile 3d artists that is ashamed of showing his work to anyone because the models look so bad and maybe you have tried learning how to model a few times but it always seems like tutorials were not meant for you if for some reason you are not using blender stick with me bro this might be your solution because the entire aim of the render engine is to make bad models look good the aim of the render engine was to distract the audience from the bad model with this render engine i can technically just add a green sphere and it will actually look like grass but without the grass but at least we can all agree that this looks moderately decent and adding something as little as a green cylinder can actually go a long way and then we threw some very simple mountains at the render engine and it received it and then i did some action with the lights and by now you should probably see what i mean by distract the audience from the bad models using sneaky rendering techniques and along the line i also found a way to copy models that feels too basic to talk about so there's that that and a little more action with our render engine and you probably all know that i wasn't just going to leave the extrude tool like that so i did eventually come back to fix it and then after a few days i finally got it to work although it wasn't working perfectly but at least there was something and as you can see the model is made up entirely of triangles and i wanted to throw in some quads so i ended up finding a new way to handle meshes which will actually make making modeling tools easier and also now we have quads and a way to detach faces and not to mention the extrude tool is working perfectly and now it was time to create some stunning renders so what i was going for in this scene is just a very simple building with some grass around it and with my way of handling meshes i could actually keep the app very optimized as every single blade of grass is a separate model and still we weren't getting any lag and you might say that's a device specific thing but the device device I'm using to test this is 1GB of RAM and Android 7 and it performs most all of its rendering in the CPU so, so it will most likely work on all phones and this is another example of how far we can take the model count as every single brick in this scene is also a separate model and why stop at bricks when we can also add in grass so I just populated my scene with a little bit of the grass and, and speaking of model counts I duplicated the entire scene and the app did not crash so I decided to take it one step 
further. And then we finally got the app to struggle but that was a small price to pay for a few thousand models and 13 lights. And personally I didn't expect much from a scene made out of bricks but it actually looked really decent. And I think that's all we have time for as that is my previous week progress working at 3 hours a day. And if this video gets one comment we'll go for another week.